Hey, hey friends, it's Cory from Hey Let's Make Stuff. In today's video, I'm going to be talking all about cutting patterned acrylic with your laser. Because we're moving into the holiday season here, I made ornaments, but this video applies to basically any type of patterned acrylic that you have. Today, I'm working with this patterned acrylic from Flux. They make the Flux Bemo along with some other laser machines. They sent me this acrylic and I thought I'd try it out because I've been wanting to make a video about how to cut patterned acrylic with your laser because it's not as straightforward as you might think. When working with patterned acrylic, you're going to need to know two things. The first is the type of laser that you have, as well as the type of acrylic that you have. Now I'm just gonna flat out say that it is easier to cut acrylic on a CO2 laser. So like I said, this is the Flux Bemo. This is the smallest CO2 laser on the market. And honestly, it cut this beautifully. I mean, I had to change zero settings. I just put the acrylic in there, cut it, and layered it and glued it. Super easy. But a lot of you I know have diode lasers, so you're probably wondering, can I cut this patterned acrylic? So of course, once again, we need to talk about the differences between a CO2 laser and a diode laser. I talk about this in a lot of videos. Sorry for the repetition for those of you who watch a lot of my videos, but this is really important. The difference between a diode laser and a CO2 laser is not just the way that the laser beam is created, it's actually the color of the laser beam. So a laser beam in a diode laser, so this would be the Flux Adore, it could be the Glowforge Spark or Aura, the X-Tool S1 and M1, the we create machines all of those are diode lasers and the way that that beam is created that beam is blue with a co2 laser that beam is actually on the infrared spectrum and if you want to cut acrylic whether it's patterned acrylic regular acrylic mirrored acrylic it's just really important to know what kind of laser you have if you have a co2 laser it's just going to cut everything perfectly and you're just not going to have to worry about it you can just go ahead turn off this video go ahead and cut basically any type of acrylic you're looking at but if you have a diode laser that laser beam is actually on the blue spectrum so it is on the visible light spectrum and for some sciencey reason that I'm not quite sure of, it basically passes right through clear, blue, um, white. Some of these kind of lighter colored clear acrylics, that laser beam just passes right through. It doesn't actually cut. Um, so if you have a diode laser, can you cut patterned acrylic? The answer is, unfortunately, not that many, and that's because of how patterned acrylic is made. So this acrylic here is poured acrylic, and the design itself is sort of brushed within the actual sheet of acrylic. So this is an example. This actually changes out in the light, which is kind of fun. But the actual design here is sort of layered within the acrylic, and that acrylic is clear, which means that your diode laser it's gonna pass right through it. They have some other fun colors here, which you can see obviously I have used. Um, they have a whole bunch of different acrylics like this that will cut perfectly on a CO2 laser. But because these have a clear core, they're not gonna work with a diode laser. Another type of patterned acrylic you might see actually has sort of a laminated pattern on the top and the bottom. And once again, a diode laser might struggle with this. And that is because often the center of that is white and a diode laser really struggles with or cannot cut white. So. Unfortunately, I would say probably 90, 95% of patterned acrylics are out if you have a diode laser. There are some options, however, I poked around a little bit, and if you search for patterned acrylic for diode lasers, you can find some. A lot of times it's maybe a glitter, and then the interior of the core is black so that it will cut. Unfortunately, most pattern acrylic has that clear or white interior, so it's just not gonna work with that diode laser. But I know, some of you are gonna ask me, what about engraving? So again, CO2 laser is going to be able to engrave this just fine. If you have that diode laser, you might have a little bit more luck than you would have with cutting. To start, if you get one of the sheets that has the laminated pattern on it, you should be able to basically um, laser that laminated pattern off. It depends on what's underneath for what kind of effect you're going to get, but Look for that type and see if it works with your laser. I still don't think it's gonna work very well on this sort of cast acrylic with the clear, but I do think you could actually engrave some of the laminated pattern pieces. Whether you're trying to cut one of those diode safe materials in a diode laser or basically any patterned acrylic inside a CO2 laser, let's talk about how to test your settings. Especially if you're new to laser cutting, I wouldn't immediately jump into just cutting your project. I would cut maybe a one inch circle or square to see if your settings look good. One thing I really like about the Flux Bemo is that it has very few settings, right? So you don't need to go and do a bunch of material setting. All of these different acrylics cut on the same 1 8 inch acrylic setting. So I had something like a dark blue and a white and then this other blue over here and all of them cut perfectly. I never actually did a test. Normally I test, but I have had really good luck with their material settings and these are their materials. So I assumed they would cut, but if you are not sure, 
I would go ahead and do some testing. If you check your test and it hasn't gone all the way through, you can up your power a little bit or slow down your speed. If you found that it looks like it's charring a little bit, you can speed up your speed or lessen your power. You also want to make sure you have your ventilation running, right? We talk about this in a lot of laser videos. You need to vent your laser. If your laser has an air assist, make sure that is running. Most lasers will automatically run the air assist, but you should know your laser, it may not, because that will give you much cleaner projects and you won't have to mess with the settings quite as much. After working with acrylic for several years now, I rarely mask my acrylic. So I rarely put a masking over it for cutting. And that is because I would prefer to sort of have my settings dialed in um, and just not, and like save myself the money and time and effort of putting on a masking. You're gonna have to test this again. So like you can see here, there's like literally no charring on either side of this. It cut absolutely perfectly. If you are getting some charring, again, bump up that speed or lessen that power. And after a while, you'll be able to basically dial in your settings and you won't have to use a mask on any type of acrylic. One other thing I should note while talking about this, this acrylic does come with sort of a clear plastic film over the top of both sides. Definitely remove that before cutting because it'll melt. So to make these cute little acrylic snowflakes, this is basically just two layers of acrylic. I got these designs from Creative Fabrica because honestly guys I have had a month and I just did not have time to create my own files but these were super cute so I went ahead and cut these out. I cut out the back layer, I cut out the front layer, I glued them together actually with a little bit of hot glue which is generally not my first choice but I got a new hot glue gun which I really like and I'm going to do a review about it soon um, and it's what I had out so I went ahead and did that. You could also for that front piece you could use a double-sided adhesive on the back that's usually my favorite way to go. I am also going to do a video about that soon because I have people asking about it. So yeah these were super easy to make. I didn't really have to mess with the settings too much. I didn't have to test. I really like this little flex BMO. I do have a full review of it but the more I use it the more I think it's like really great entry-level machine if you want to get a CO2 laser without having to spend thousands and and thousands and thousands of dollars. So I'll go ahead and link to this review as well. I'll link to the files I use to make these so that you can make your own patterned acrylic ornaments. I hope that clears up any confusion you have about cutting patterned acrylic, whether or not you have a CO2 laser or a diode laser. If you have any questions about different types of acrylic and whether or not they'll cut, instead of asking me, because I honestly don't know without testing them myself, reach out to the acrylic manufacturer. A lot of times they have whole teams that are testing their products on different types of lasers and they'll be able to tell you whether or not it will work in a diode laser. I am adding something new to the ends of my videos. For those of you who want to stay in the loop, you can join my email list by going to heyletsmakestuff.com slash email. If you found this video helpful or inspiring, please give it a like. Follow my channel for more crafty content. I'll see you next time.